Greetings, Weary Wanderer, and welcome back to Lonely TTRPG, the solo actual play and review podcast. That's right, we are back. What was supposed to be a brief vacation for Christmas and New Year has turned into an extended rest on our part, mainly because work has started expecting me to do work things, and it's taken me a while to rework my balance. But we're going to try again. We're going to try to get back in the swing of things. That means that there is going to be some schedule changes. I hope you all don't mind. I apologize for that up front. We're going to be playing around with things a little bit over the next couple weeks as we try to find a sustainable system. But part of that sustainability, we will go ahead and give you the news up front. Yes, we are looking at other things to do besides just games and games reviews. Now, while we love our solo games and we love our solo reviews, this will not be our sole thing. Yes, we are looking at expanding into some solo actual play and storytelling. There will be more about that later in the next couple weeks as, again, we try to figure out a sustainable model for this. Because at the end of the day, I am one person running this whole shebang. And it can be a lot. Unless there are any audio engineers out there who want to volunteer their time. I have no monies. And I'm joking. I don't, I don't let people work for me who I do not pay. So for the meantime and in between time, you guys are stuck with lonely old me doing everything by myself. Which means things take time. But... We have taken enough of your time, and we're going to dive on into this week's game, Tea Harvest by Lucky Newt Games. Now, this is not a game that's on my list of things that I need to play. Those are all coming up. So, huge shout out to all the people who have sent me their games. I will get to you. I just needed to start off with something a little cozy as I get back into the swing of things. And this game looks absolutely delightfully cozy. As you play a new tea harvester. And whether you started this job as a higher hand or you're working your family land. Or even just a summer job. You'll exercise brains, brawn, and a friendly disposition to make your mark in the tea industry. So tea harvest is a solo dice rolling farming sim. All you need is a big pool of six sided dice and the game board. Just choose how you want to play. And you have three modes of play. First mode is going to be hired hand. This is all about the money. You're trying to make as much money as possible in the two weeks you have to do this. Family land is you're trying to complete 10 orders in order to keep the farm and make sure that mom, pa don't get run off by the bank. And then finally, summer job. You only have one week, but you want to get as many coins as you can. Or as many orders as you can within that time frame. I think this week we're going to play Family Land. We might not play the whole game. But we're definitely going to play Family Land. Why? Because again it sounds cozy. And it sounds so much like what I want to do. When I stop having to have a real job. And I can retire. For your game board. The breakdown on the game board. Is you're going to have your days. Where you place a token on day one. Once you've completed the last day. The game ends. And it's time to count things up. You have your plot, which will keep track of your plant's progress using a D6 for each plant. The game starts with four plants and six plots, and each plot holds one plant. Plants start with a one on the die and grow by one with each passing day. It also includes a space for pesticide and fungicide to mark with a token. The next spot is harvested, the first stage to process tea leaves. Move the die that represents the plant to the harvested section when you harvest. Keep it on the same face that it's on when you harvest it. The second stage to process tea leaves is the drying stage. Move any die from harvested into the drying stage. Keep the dice on the same face as you harvested them. The third and final stage for processing is dried. During the dried and ready stage, move any dice from drying to here. Keep the dice on the same face when you move them. All tea leaves here are ready to sell and fulfill orders. When tea leaves are sold, remove them from the game board. For your character, you're going to place a d6 set to 1 in each base stat. This shows that you can roll one die for anything involving that stat. 
In Hired Hand, you can move the die to 2 in any 2 stats, allowing you to roll 2 dice for those stats. The bonus area is only for dice you get due to different items or actions in the game. Your physical stat is used to decide the number of actions you have for the day and to weed and move plants from bad weather. Sacrificing extra actions adds extra die. Intellect. This stat helps you against fungi and pests. Books add extra die to fight them. Neighborly. This stat helps you help neighbors or to get the help from neighbors. Helping neighbors adds extra die for any neighborly role. If you're playing Hired Hand, choose one background to give yourself an edge. If you're playing Family Land, choose two. Make any adjustments needed to your game board. And then we have a number of backgrounds that provide various different strengths and bonuses to your gameplay. And we'll dive into those a little bit more when we get to it. The next thing we have to look at is inventory. Keep track of your purchases from the shop by using dice as counters, starting at one upon purchase and changing it as you buy or use them. Use a token to mark the space for the dehydrator since one can be used multiple times. Actions. When you roll for actions, place your die at the number you get for the day. As you use them up, slide the die down the track until you hit zero. Your order board. For your order board, you're going to place a token on each order you roll to recall what ones are available. Once the first one is fulfilled, move the token to orders completed. Each order thereafter gets a token removed. And you can slide this token along as you complete them. Coins. Place a token at 3 in the coins section for your starting coins and slide it up or down depending on your purchases and the orders you fill. Once you get 10 or more, leave the token there and use a second one to keep track of the single digits. If you ever get more than the max number of coins on the board, leave the token on 60 and a second one on 10 and keep tracking with a third one. Now for gameplay, each round or day is divided between the morning setup and day actions. For your morning setup, this is done in a specific order to help keep track of what's what. Adjust things as needed at each step. Dried and ready, move any tea leaves in drying to dried. All tea leaves here have finished the process for drying and are ready to sell to fulfill orders. Drying time, move any tea leaves in the harvest to drying. Tea leaves here are not ready to be sold yet. Time to grow. Increase the growth value of all plants on your plot by one since your tea plants are already one more day matured. Skip this step on the first day. Time to plant. Add any tea plants you have purchased to your plot and set them to one. Challenges of the day. Roll 1d6 and compare the results to the challenge table. This is the challenge you will face to keep your tea plants healthy and happy. Mark the day's challenge with a token. Action roll. Roll your physical dice pool compared against the highest die to the action table and mark it on your game board. This is the total number of actions you have for your day. Each action you want to accomplish in the day action section requires at least one action. New orders. Fill or refill the order board by rolling 2d6. Compare the sum of the order board table and record the order on your game board. You can only have three active orders at a time and can only refill the order board when all three have been filled or an action is used to wipe the order board clear of all actions. Now we move to our day actions. Now that everything is set up, you can go about your day. Though your actions are limited by your action role, you have six different options to do throughout the day. Complete a challenge and or oh no. Spend one action for each challenge or oh no you face. Resolve your challenge of the day by rolling the appropriate dice pool and comparing it to the dice pool table. If you succeed, then no issues arise. If you fail, you can spend an action for another roll or to try again the next day plus the new challenge. If you still fail, you lose one of your highest valued plants from the plot. Challenges can be resolved at any time during the day, but remember that if you fail, you'll only have one more day to resolve them on top of your new challenge or risk losing a plan of your choice. 
other actions you have is basic maintenance. And basic maintenance costs one action each and can be done one time each. You can choose any one listed below. Make fertilizer. If a plant is over four days old, you can turn it into one fertilizer. Apply fertilizer. Pay one fertilizer to roll the physical pool. A grand success increases growth for two plants by one day. A success increases it for one plant. A fail does nothing and the fertilizer is returned to your inventory. But a bad failure loses the fertilizer. Use pesticide negates the next bad pest roll. Mark the board to show pesticide is applied. Use fungicide. Same as pesticide except for fungus. Study. Pay one book to roll the intellect pool. A grand success adds two dice to your next intellect roll. A success adds one. A fail does nothing and returns the book to your inventory, but a bad failure loses the book. Dry leaves. Speed up the drying process, moving all leaves one space further in the cycle. I.e. harvested to drying, drying to dried. Help out. Roll the neighborly to help neighbors. A grand success adds two dice to your neighborly pool. A success adds one, a failure nothing, and a grand failure minus one. Harvest your tea leaves. Harvest any number of plants during the, this action. Remember, it takes two days for white tea, three days for green tea, and four days for black tea. Harvested leaves are placed in the harvested stage of the drying cycle. You can also go shopping and purchase as much as you want from the shop with an action. Everything in the shop other than the dehydrator is one-time use only. And in the shop, you have plants so you can plant more stuff, books, gifts to add to your neighborly check, pesticides, fungicides, fertilizer, and the dehydrator. Now, the dehydrator is a special item. When dry leaves action is taken, all leaves anywhere in the drying cycle are moved immediately to dried, and this is reusable. But know that not only does it cost three coins to buy, you're going to pay one coin for every use. Wipe the board is another action you can take, and that is spending an action point to wipe the order board clear of all remaining orders. But it cannot be refilled until you check the order board during the morning setup. Basically, if you need to make some money and you have all the wrong teas and the wrong teas are, are available at, at the time, for example, it's day two or three and all your orders are asking for black tea and you need to make some coin, you can wipe the order board and hope that you get some green or white tea requests up front so that you can quickly sell those, make some more coin, buy some more plants and keep up with demand. And finally, you have order up. Turn in however many completed orders you have with one action. Remember to add the coins you get for each order onto your character sheet. Loose leaves may be sold for two coins each. And then the rest of the book, you have your various tables that you'll use. As you can see with the action table, at best you can get four actions in a day. Your bad failure is going to be a one with a 50 percent chance of success being four five and six six being a grand success many of the t's that you're going to get on your order board are going to be two t variants though there are a couple three t variants but it does look like you make some decent money for each one and then your challenge tables and don't worry we will see more of these challenge tables here in a moment but without further ado, I think it's about time that we dove on in. All right, so up front, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to determine our two background traits. Because again, we are playing family land. So we're going to roll 2d12 because there are 12 options. And we get two. And we got ourselves an eight and a nine. Of course we did. So now I have to count more. So we got ourselves Green Thumb, which is starting with plus one plant, and Real Estate Agent, which is starting with plus one plot for plants. So that is, that is nice. So instead of starting with four plants, we get to start with five. So we have five plants and seven plots. So I suppose we should determine what, what all our different plants are. 
And the three tea varieties we have are white, black, and green. With white taking two days, green taking three days, and black taking four days. So doing a little optimization here, looking at our order board, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six different recipes, different orders that require black tea. And black tea also takes the longest. So I feel like we need to make at least three of our tea plants black. And then we'll make one green and one white. So because it's day one, not a whole lot we can do. Everything's just kind of starting right off the bat. Now we need to roll 1d6 for our challenge. And we got a one. I want to say low is good on chat. No, nope. Nope, ones are always bad. That was silly me for thinking that. A not so good day. Roll twice on the oh no table. So let's roll 2d6 and see what we get. A two and a six. So two is a difficult tea market. All tea and orders get negative one coin during this day. And that's a lucky break since we're not selling any tea. And, oh yes, we've stubbed our toe on a coin. We get plus one coin. So we started with three coin. We're actually going to move up to four coin now. That was actually a really lucky break for what we could have got on day one. So things are looking decent for the family farm. Still not great, but not as bad as it could have been. Now let's see how many actions we get to make today. And because all our because of all of our base stats are at one, it's only going to be one d six. And we rolled a five, which will allow us to do four actions today. So the bright side is the bright side is nothing horrendous happened today. Like we almost had that, but nothing did. We don't have to spend any of our actions dealing with our challenges or oh no's we don't have any maintenance that we can do we have nothing we can harvest we have no oh i'm sorry before getting into actions i forgot we had to roll orders so we got to roll a 2d6 to find out our orders so total of 11 oh okay 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 i get it i get it i get it all right, so first order, we have a full moon set, which is white, black, black. Good thing we planted those extra. So we'll just drop that token there. And we need to have three orders. Eight is a snowy meadow set, which is white, white, white. Which will generally be good, as it should be a relatively quick one to fill. And six is yin yang, which is white and black. All right, so we are going to need to go shopping. As I said, we got kind of lucky. We rolled max actions, but there's not a lot of actions we can do today. So obviously we're going to buy some more plants. And our first one is going to cost one coin. And each plant after that is going to cost two coins. Fertilizer also costs one coin. So looking at our current order list, we need three black, which luckily we started growing. But we need a lot of white. We need five white. And we only have one. So I got to buy two white at least. So that's going to drop me down to three and then one. But that adds two white to my inventory. Two white plants to my inventory. And the question is, do I spend my last coin on fertilizer or do I just hold on to it as fungicide and pesticide also only cost one? I think we're going to hold on to it. So that was one action. I think I'm also going to help out a neighbor. So I'm going to roll my neighborly roll. Just because, again, it's a good thing to do and I don't have a whole lot of other things to do right now. So let's start earning some favors. Outstanding. I got a five, which is a success. So now I get to add one die to my next neighborly roll. And that's about all I can do today. Establishing the farms are, you know, establishing farms really take 
a little bit of time up front, but that's all right. That's all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice my last two actions and I'm going to do that to give myself a plus two to my next physical roll because if I read the rules correctly, I can sacrifice actions to increase my physical stat. So that'll just be a, that'll be a plus two, two extra die. Unfortunately, there's no good color combination that shows up on that. So we're going to have to move that off to the side. Oh, and I also have a plus one for my neighborly. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and add my plus one down here. All right. And I think that's good. So we're going to go ahead and call it a night and move on to day two. So day two, we come to our morning phase and right up front, we have nothing dried and ready. We have nothing drying. So now we have grow time where we get to increase all of these by one. And I'm going to just going to go ahead and transition immediately into my planting phase and plant my two new white tea plants. Next up, we need to figure out our challenge for today. So that is a three, a fungus among us. Roll intellect to identify and clear out fungus can spend books and or fungicide. So to do that, I am going to need to find out how many actions I have for today. That'll be my one D six for physical. All right. So I have three actions I can do today. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and spend one action trying to figure out the fungus among us. Now I only have one D six for my intellect. Oh no. Oh, okay. We're going to spend one more action and we're going to try that again, which is very silly. And that's another fail. So if I'm reading the rules correctly, that means that I lose one of my plants. Now, because I chose to do the challenge before my harvesting, it says highest value plant. I have three different types of plants that are all at the same level. So the question, the question that I now have to ask myself is, do I do it based on the varieties or the plots? I think I'm going to do it based on the plots. Either way is, either way is annoying. Uh, because if I just wanted, like if I wanted to make this easy, I would just get rid of the green tea because I have no orders for green tea. But there's a 50% chance I'm going to lose one of my black tea. And I need all of those. All right, let's hope for a two. And it was a four, which is one of my black tea plants. So that's going to reset to zero. And I'm going to use an action to harvest my white tea, which is done. And yeah, that kind of hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. But the bright side is the fungus is no longer among us. So we're going to go ahead and shift on over to day three. So we have nothing to move to dried and ready, but we do have something in harvested that we can move to drying. Now we can move all our other plants up one. So our green tea goes up to three. Black tea goes up to three. Second black or black tea goes up to three. That goes up to two. And that goes up to two. I have nothing to plant. So let us figure out our challenge for today, which is dos, number two, weed takeover. Roll physical to clear out weeds. Can spend one action point per one extra die. Next up, we need to see how many actions we have for today. Six, outstanding, four actions. I don't know if that's going to do anything for us, but it's all right, it's all right, it's okay, it's okay. So off the bat, we're going to do some harvesting. We're going to go ahead and move that down to move actions down to three. We're going to harvest our green tea. We're going to harvest our two white teas, which is good. Get that out of the danger area. We're going to spend one of our bonus die in physical to help take care of our weeds. So we're going to roll 2d6 on our physical to try and take care of our weed problem. And I roll two twos. So that is a failure. But it's not catastrophic, which is fine. So we're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore that for today. 
and we're gonna sacrifice one action to add another bonus die back to physical and we're gonna use our last action to roll a neighborly roll just to see if we can be nice and that's a grand success so we get two more neighborly dice so our physical dice are at bonus two neighborly is at bonus three and that's going to conclude this day so moving on to day four we have nothing to plan or those move up to four and four we have nothing to plant let's see that goes to dried these go to or one of our white teas goes to dried Two of our white teas and our green tea go to Dryeen. We now have two challenges on the board. Or we will have two challenges on the board. We just rolled a five on our challenge dice, which will be basic maintenance. A great day to do some basic maintenance. Pick any one to complete. That is very lucky for us. We will say that we have to complete one of those maintenance tasks. Find out how many actions we have to do and we rolled a one. Good job. So we have two actions today. All right, so this is where we're gonna game the system a little bit because it says challenges can be completed at any time. So I feel like we're going to ignore our weed problem. We're just gonna move straight into harvesting. We're gonna spend one action on harvesting and harvest our two black teas. And then we are going to, we're going to use the we're going to do our basic maintenance action, which one of them is dry leaves, which moves everything up in the drying process by one. So that gives us three white tea available, dried and ready, one green tea available, dried and ready, and our two black teas in the drying phase. So they're going to move up tomorrow. Now we don't have the action to complete an order because we've used all of our actions, but but we will be able to complete an order tomorrow, which is good because we have no monies and our fields are currently sitting doing nothing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next day. We're on day five. We have no growing. Our orders will, or our black teas will move up to dried and ready. We have nothing to grow. We have nothing to plant. Our challenge of the day is going to be another weed takeover, of course. Not that huge of a deal for us right now. How many actions do we have today? We only have two actions today, which is fine. One of those actions is going to be order up. And we are going to turn in the full moon, which is the two black and one white. So we will go, we will go ahead and take our... All right, we'll go ahead and take one white two and our two black, remove them from the board, mark one completed order, remove that, remove the token from our order board, and we will gain 11 coins. So that will take us from one to 12, which is highly beneficial because we need some dang old, we need some dang old ding dang walla walla bing bang coins. Because we need to go shopping. As is, we're wasting another day. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and try to resolve the weed issue. Because I don't want to lose a plant as soon as I plant it. So that was a three. That's a failure. That's fine. Actually, we'll go ahead and spend one of our bonus die. And that's a five. That's success. All right. We do not have a weed problem to worry about tomorrow. So moving on to day six. Nothing that we can do in the morning. We are going right into what our challenge for today is going to be. More weeds. They really like giving us the weeds. All right. Can we at least get some decent actions today? No, of course not. We're going to get two more actions for today. All right. So we are definitely going shopping. That's about the only thing we can do. So the question is, I need, I need two more white and one more black. I have seven plots available. It will cost me two coins per T. So do I buy six T's or do I buy four T's and a fertilizer? I think I'm gonna buy four T's and a fertilizer. So four T's is eight, 
or minus eight. So that's 12 minus eight is four. And a fertilizer is only one coin. So that brings us down to three. All right. So I bought four teas, two black, two white. I did forget to do my order up or I did forget to refill my order, which was a five. And that's going to be a white and green tea. Oh, how very fortuitous. All right. So I spent one action on shopping. I can actually fill that white and green tea order today. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're not going to let it affect my shopping. So we'll do order up. I'll take care of all my actions for the day. I'm going to get rid of a white and a green or a white and a green tea. And I will gain another five coins, bringing me from three to eight. Ha ha. And two completed orders. Outstanding. And that's about it I can do today. So moving on to day seven for my morning setup. I have nothing to transfer from drying to dried and ready. I have nothing to transfer from harvest to drying. I have nothing growing. So time to plant the teas. So I said I bought two black and two white. All right, so I got two black and two white planted. Now to determine our challenge for today. A four, which is need a helping hand. Roll neighborly to get a neighbor's help with your plants. And let's determine how many actions we have today. Yes, we have many actions we can do today, which is good. It is good for us. So right off the bat, I need to spend an action. And let's try to take care of these weeds. Did not work. The weeds overtook us. So I'm going to go. I'm not even going to roll for it. We need to play this. Or we need to play this in a little bit of a better way. We will just take care of one of the one of the black plant. Or one of the black tea plant. We also need a helping hand from our neighbor. We're going to go ahead and burn some of the help we've already done. So we're going to use. I've not been rolling well on these challenges. So I'm going to I'm going to roll three d six. I'm going to use two of my neighborly dice that I banked up. Roll three d six. And of course, I roll straight successes on this. That's fine. That's fine. Everything is fine. All right. That was an action. I'm currently at eight coin. I think I want to buy another fertilizer. And, and again, I forgot to roll my T orders. I forgot to refill my T orders because I have that one blank spot, which is a green and a black T. The Ebony Jade set, green and black T. All right, so I definitely need to go shopping because I have no green tea growing. I don't have enough black tea growing. So yeah, I need to spend an action to go shopping. So I need, I still got three spots or correction. I got four spots left, but I only have eight coin. I'm not gonna spend all eight coin on that. I'm gonna buy some more black tea. I'm gonna buy a green tea. So that's, that's four right there. That takes me down to four. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy another fertilizer, which takes me down to three. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drop these zeros here to indicate that I have the plants. They're just not planted yet. And now I'm going to attempt to use one of my fertilizers. I'm going to use my last action to use fertilizer. And that will be pay one fertilizer to roll the physical pool. A grand success increases the growth of two plants by one day or a success increases one plant. Now here's the thing. I could roll two. I'm not going to roll two dice. I'm only going to roll one on my physical. I'm going to save that last physical bonus die I have for the weed problem I'm more than likely going to get next turn. But my fertilizer didn't work. Luckily, it was only a fail. So it wasn't a grand fail, which means I get to keep the fertilizer. Like I don't lose the fertilizer completely. A fail does nothing and fertilizer is returned to your inventory. So at least there's that. So... I never should have bought two. I don't think you can actually buy two. Can you buy two? Regardless, doesn't matter. And that's everything I can do for today. And actually, that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna call it for tonight. Give us a little week of a little week of entertainment and attempts. And that is Tea Harvest by Lucky Newt Games. I really like this game. Very, very sweet, very very chill. It's giving me strong Stardew Valley vibes. Very enjoyable. I think I think I would have enjoyed it a little bit more if some things were spelled out a little bit more. Like, for example, 
you can take the helping neighbor option, but outside of when you have to roll for getting help from a neighbor on the challenge table, I don't know if there's any benefit to that. I don't know if there's any actions that a neighbor can provide you like, you know, call like call on your neighbor to help you out with this problem instead of rolling your intellect or base strength. And there there were there were a couple other things like that, just minor nitpicks of it wasn't exactly clear. Like for example, I don't have any confidence that my sacrificing actions let me bank those rolls for physical rolls. Nor do I have any confidence that I was actually correct in my understanding that I could roll 2d6 using one of those bonus physical dice without it costing me an extra action. Like I did it. It makes sense in my head that I can, because again, I sacrificed an action to do that. Right, and I did it on day one and two when I didn't have a whole lot of actions and I luckily rolled high on them. But still, I sacrificed an action, so it makes sense that I would not need to use an action to use that dice. Like, to me, that's a, that's a, I'm paying an action now to withdraw later. It would have been nice if they worked for me, but the dice gods are fickle and cruel. However, these things, they are what they are. It's, there's only so much that you can do with it. It's only so much you can do with bad rolls, <laughs> but like outside of that, no fun, fun little game. Definitely enjoyable. Definitely enjoyed sitting and building my little tea garden because I'm going to have a tea garden when I retire, which I'm only four years out from now. How nice my tea garden is depends on you, my wonderful listeners and how much you're willing to support me throughout this, but I'm going to have a tea garden and it was definitely, it was definitely a fun little game. I like the tables. I really like the, I really like the game board that it comes with. It is, it is a very nice little player mat game board system that has everything you need right up on it. You can keep track of it. Like you can print it out, keep track of it nice and easy on top of all of that. Your challenges, like your challenges are listed the numbers are listed on there, so you don't even have to refer back to the game book for your challenge, except for what you have to actually do. Same thing for your oh no, same thing for your orders. The orders have the numbers that correspond to the die rolls on them. It's all like super great, super intuitive, very well done. It is a very well done game board and highly appreciated. It is, it is wonderful. Like I cannot, I cannot talk enough about how nice this game board is. Again, the rules, there was some minor stuff in there that I wish it was explained a little bit better, but I mean, again, at the end of the day, like I always say, it is a solo game. You are playing by yourself. Do what you want to have your fun. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to come and take your PDF. Nobody's going to come and take your book. At the end of the day, this is all for fun. Now, if you like this game and you want to get it for yourself, go check them out at luckynewtgamesitchio slash t-harvest. If you are really looking for, if you're really looking for a great value, this game is included in the Solo But Not Alone bundle. That bundle is currently going for another 19 days. So until the end of February, 2023. The Solo But Not Alone bundles are great. It is an annual bundle that is put together in order to benefit the Jasper Foundation, which is a foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping put an end to suicides. And it is by gamers. It is for gamers. Like I said, the Solo But Not Alone, it is... This is the third annual bundle that they've done. I actually picked up last year's bundle, which is what started this whole journey, actually. So even if you don't, even if you don't go and pick up the game directly from the publisher, which you should, and you should definitely leave them a tip if you do, tell them I sent you. Definitely go check out the Solo But Not Alone bundle. Pick it up. $10 will get you 149 different solo games. 
And there are some beautiful games in here, some really fun games in here, such as The Last Tea Shop. We have several games that we featured on the channel, not to mention a couple games from friends of the channel, Croker, Kaya over at Mirlock. One of my games is in here. Cassie Mothwin has a game in here. There are tons of, tons of great, great games in here, all for $10. And it benefits a great organization trying to do great work. So go check it out. I will definitely be dropping a link for that down below. And support them if you can. And if you can't and things are a little tight right now, that is understandable. You can get Tea Harvest by itself for only $3, but it's all a great opportunity. But that is all I have for you guys this week. Hopefully it's not going to be another month or month and a half before I see you again. We, like I said, we are working on, we are working on trying to develop a sustainable schedule with our, with the current job as well as balancing some other projects that we are excited to try and get out to you at some point this year, trying to expand into things like audio drama and solo actual plays, teaming up with our friends over at Croker Games, over at Drake Inspire Games, over at, over at Thunderfang, and trying to trying to come out with some more fun things. Don't worry, as they actually come out, we will be letting you know. But I have been Steel Stash. This has been Lonely TTRPG. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, I must ask y'all to stay awesome. You've been listening to Lonely TTRPG, the solo TTRPG live play and review. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review. You can also reach us at Twitter at BDDC underscore pod or at Black Dragon Dungeon Company at gmail.com. If you really like us, you can consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Black Dragon Dungeon Company. Thank you so much.